Today we are doing something very, very exciting. I have been lent one of my dream cars. This, the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso T. Now, why is this one of my dream cars? I think this is the ultimate and dream daily driver. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna try and see if you can really live every day, do all your day-to-day -day activities in a Ferrari. Now this is the perfect one to do it in because you have four seats, you've got a pretty decent boot, and you can actually, in theory, use this car as your daily. Now we're gonna get the stats out of the way first. This car actually has a twin turbocharged V8. So you can get this in a V12, but the T, which was released not that long ago, you can only get in a V8 twin turbo. Now it has 620 horsepower and it actually has more torque because it's twin turbo than the Lusso with the V12, 760 Newton meters. That means you can do not 60 in three and a half seconds and it'll go just around 320 kilometers an hour. This thing is a total beast. This car, as you can tell, is gorgeous. The spec on this one is very nice, but later on in this video, I'm actually gonna run you through the whole spec because this car cost 200,000 pounds list price, but this specific one was specced out at 255,000 pounds, 55 grand worth of specs. But we'll get onto that later. I wanted to show you first the interior because this is where this car really comes into its own. It's got an absolutely gorgeous and very usable interior. So as you can tell, if you pull this back here, you've actually got two seats in the back where you can fit some fully fledged adults. So to demonstrate this, we've got Camille here, who's gonna get into the back. Boom, see, put the seat back and she's got loads of room. You comfortable? Comfortable, exactly, perfect. So if I hop in, I can walk you through some of the stuff on the interior of this car. So you press the start button, that puts the ignition on. So you've got this new uh, steering wheel, which they kind of came out with on the 812. Very, very nice. You got your little Manatino here. Now you can go in ice mode, however this one, the Lusso T, is only two-wheel drive. So you can't bring it maybe potentially as many places as the full-fledged V12 Lusso. But then you've got wet, comfort, sport, and then all traction off. You hold it there. And then ESC goes off on your right screen there. So you've got a little scroller behind here that makes you be able to scroll through the options on that screen. On this screen, you can have your sat-nav, you can have your speed, and once you put the sat-nav on this screen, your speed goes over to this other screen, and right now you've just got information like your engine temperatures and all of that sort of stuff. And then your massive rev counter in the middle. Huge new touch LCD, which is really, really nice to use, actually. And you've got your sort of shortcut home buttons and everything here. And if you don't want to use the touch, you can scroll with this little knob right there. Um, but this is actually a really, really nice screen, easy to use. You've got your seat stuff there, so if you want to put your heated seats on or things like that, you do it around here. But this is a massive improvement on the screen on the FF, for example. All of this can be optioned out in carbon. This car doesn't have any carbon. This is your cup holders right here. Massive, actually, little space to put some stuff. Your windows, and then in here you've got your glove box. Currently, we've got quite a few little USB cables coming out. I'm in the passenger seat now, and in this car, you can actually spec out for about 3,000 pounds what's called a passenger display right here. So this is actually an interactive screen uh, which you can go, the passenger can control the media, navigation, and then this is performance right here where they can see the revs, what gear you're in, G-force meter, uh, your speed, and all of the information there, which is so cool. I mean, everyone that gets into this car gets so excited about this. It's not that far of a reach to be able to control the stuff there, but it is kind of funky that you can do it on this little screen right here. So this is the key of the car, and on the key, you can actually open the boot, which is not opening. Come on, check tailgate, there's actually no button. You have to do it either on the key or from inside the car. And you've got here a leather wrapped boot. It's quite large. This is actually the fuel tank, I believe, right here. So you can't fit too much stuff flat, but the seats do go down and you can open up and make this a very, very practical car. Color on this car is a triple layer Bianco Italia, gorgeous color and actually costs 15,000 pounds. First thing I want to do is see how easy it is to pick your friends up and actually go for a drive in this car, how comfortable it can be and just drive around London. So the first test if you're daily driving a Ferrari should be 
what's the boot like and what can you fit in the boot? So I imagine that if you have a car this expensive, 255 grand, what do you do on your normal day? You probably go to like an art gallery and pick up some art or something. Let's try this. The GTC4 Lusso boot test with an art piece. We've got our, our boot assistant to help open it. Okay, so if you open the boot, classic Ferrari owner. So if you grab the bag, can we please? Thank you. If you want to go buy your art piece, it fits. The GTC4 Lusso T is very practical. Mission number two is fitting four people in the car, which we've done very easily. So we've got PH, my housemate right here, Hi. and Cammy and Morgan behind. You guys comfortable? Very. Good, there you go. So you see, the Lusso, you can actually properly fit four people. It's not like a 911 there's or something. There's four seats actually. It's yeah, I know, well, it kind of does fit. <laughs> yeah, but like in a 911, there's four seats and you're not comfortable. Yeah. This car, actually a proper four-seater Grand Tourer. Now, mission number three is going to be shopping, doing our like four-person weekly big shop. So that's what we're going to go do now and see if we can fit everything in the car. We've already kind of tested the boot, so I guess this is a second boot test, but it's mainly just using this car as like your daily driver, 100%. It's kind of ludicrous that we're taking a Lusso to go to the supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're going to Morrison's. But uh, yeah, anyways, onwards. <laughs> well, we're arriving now, it's a Sunday afternoon, it's raining. Oh yeah, also we changed by the way, from the, from the last clip. It's just great, well, con <laughs> great continuity on this channel. How easy is this car to park? I don't really know, it's massive. Okay, here we go. So we got a reversing camera at least down here. It doesn't give you the like upwards view though. But I mean, we, we won't complain. Well, it's true that for nearly 300 grand, you kind of expect every camera you can get. We're in. Very easy to park. So far, this car is a daily. It's fantastic. Engine off. Let's go do some shopping. Oh. <laughs> we could get a huge pumpkin. Great success. Right, successful trip to the shops. Now, it's time to get back in the car and head home. I mean, I think in conclusion after all of that, it's pretty clear that this is um, a very practical, not just Ferrari, car in general. You can genuinely use this whenever you want to do pretty much whatever you like. The thing which makes this car so special is you can do all of the daily driving things you do in other cars, but this just makes it kind of an event. It makes it exciting. Like we were quite psyched to go do our little shopping yeah. today, which is kind of, you know, you don't get that with every car. I mean, obviously it probably wears off after a while, but you're still driving a Ferrari. Uh, it's obviously quite a bit more expensive than the other practical cars. I mean, that's what you pay for the feeling, for all the leather, for everything. It just feels quality. It feels one step above anything else that can do what this car can do. Maybe. So this is what's so special about this car, guys, is you can do all your daily stuff as you've seen us doing, and then you can literally wake up one morning early and go for a little bit of a countryside blast. Now, unfortunately, it's raining now. I'm in wet mode on this car, which is incredible because you've got 610 horsepower, 0 to 60 in three and a half seconds, and 760 newton meters of torque. But in wet mode, it's completely idiot. If I can put my foot down like that, well, it's a pretty skinny road, so I can't go too, too crazy. And you don't really get any wheel spin. So it controls it through this amazing traction control system, which you control through the Manatino down here. And this car, it's so, for the size and for the practicality of it, it's incredible. I mean, you can cover ground in this so, so quickly. And it's got all these Ferrari sort of traits, which are so nice, like the incredible double clutch gearbox, which I've always got it in manual because in order to get the noise in this thing, you need to rev it out quite a bit. Um, but the gearbox is incredible. It's got the really fast Ferrari steering and you can feel so much through the steering, which for a car of this size is quite the achievement. And when you put your foot down, you do end up going pretty fast. The surface is soaking. I can really sort of get on it. And yes, the traction control light is coming on a lot, but you can still have quite a good time, even on a wet day like this. So on a UKB road, there's nothing which sort of stops you from having fun in this car. Now, as soon as you go up a bit, 
in the uh, Manatino, things get a little bit more wild. So in sport mode, when you put your foot down, Obviously, this is two-wheel drive, whereas the V12 is four-wheel drive, as I mentioned before, so you can't really do quite as much with it. But if you want to have a little blast and you want to have some fun, the two-wheel drive is no bad thing. Now, the thing which is incredible is how this car kind of wraps around you and feels smaller. Like, when you're parking and stuff, it does feel quite big. But when you're driving on roads like this, it actually kind of feels quite a bit smaller than you think. Now, this one actually has four-wheel steering as well, which helps with that makes it handle so nicely on these roads and you've got these massive brakes as well which are very 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 nice and you can actually get quite a bit of feel through them and moderate them around town quite nicely which makes a big difference because often with these sports cars it's quite hard to know how much brake input you need to put in to do what you need to do around town but man this thing oh, even on a rainy day it is so much fun and to think that I went to collect some art yesterday and did some shopping and now today we're blasting it on the road. You need to know what you're doing though because 610 horsepower will bite your head off if you're not paying attention. I will say though however on this car there is the Ferrari character because of everything being all Ferrari and the leather feels Ferrari and the car just feels Ferrari but having been in the V12 that car does have quite a bit more character. This engine is incredibly competent and so good at what it does. You get more torque and everything in this car down to the turbos. But the V12, the noise of the V12, there's something more special about that. Now, obviously, it is more expensive, um, but there's, I don't know, if you're going, if you're spending this much on a car, then you might as well go all out because, I don't know, there's something so special about having that Ferrari V12 engine in your daily driver. I don't think anything will ever be able to match it. So that is the one thing that you lack a bit in this T model. But apart from that, <laughs> it sounds mental, but for a daily driver, you are getting your 255 grand's worth. I'm gonna cut the engine now, because I have a piece of paper right here with the options on this car, which I thought, as I said earlier in the video, I would run you through because it is pretty fascinating. So this car, list price, 200,165 pounds. Now, a few of the big options, Apple CarPlay, for example, £2,400. You then got the panoramic glass sunroof, which is lovely if you're in the back, and it's great for GoPros. That is £11,520. Embroidered prancing horse on the headrest, right here, that's 1200 quid. You've got also the paint, so on this car, triple layer special colour, Bianco Italia. That is 15,360 pounds. 1,900 pounds for glossy black painted roof end segment, which I haven't really noticed, but I mean, glad it's there. Hi-Fi premium system. This is JBL premium system. One of the best I've ever heard. It is insane. 3,500 pounds and well worth it, I think. 960 pounds for front grille black chromed edges. Carbon fiber wheel caps, 480. That's actually not too, too bad. Diamond patterned styled seats. So the diamond stitching on the seats, those are 2,832 pounds. Passenger display, very cool, 3,360. Bringing this car to a total of 255,058 pounds. And it does not have a single ounce of visible carbon fiber on both the interior and the exterior. And that's where you can make this car get incredibly expensive. And that, ladies and gents, is what I think of the Ferrari GTC4 Lusso T. T, very important point, as I just mentioned. I wanted to find out, having this car for about four days, whether a Ferrari with this kind of performance can be usable every single day. And the answer is yes, and it is the best car I have ever driven that can do this much. Whether it be your C63s, your Range Rover SVRs, your McCann turbos, 
all the cars that try and do both, this is the one that does it the best. It's also one of the most expensive, but you are getting what you pay for. That's my conclusion on this car. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Thank you to Ferrari UK, obviously, for lending me the car. I love it. You can drive this across Europe. You can drive it down to Monaco and then blast up with Route Napoleon so easily. It's a fantastic, fantastic car. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Put that notification bell on so you know when a video of mine comes out because for some reason, YouTube have made it so that even if you're subscribed to my videos, you cannot see when they come out. So if you want to know when I'm making a video, you have to put that bell on. All the best, guys, and I'll see you very soon.